the LQ1000 has a VGA remote that's available for it. Essentially, this extends the display and it extends the four GPI controls for the unit. And these buttons mimic what's on the front panel. Uh, you can see that the top one, F1, is for starting and stopping the meter. Pressing it pauses the measurement. Starting it again lets the measurement resume. F2 is for reset. So that'll reset the integrator for the ITU measurement. F3 is apply, and apply is useful only if you have the LQ1000 plus option, which allows you to automatically apply the difference between the target loudness, which is a fixed value that you enter on setup, and the measured loudness. That'll let you, for example, measure a commercial, press apply, it'll automatically calculate the gain shift necessary and provide a single fixed offset. This saves the necessity of running a 5.1 channel file through an external mixer and back into the, uh, the ingest process. Simply by running it through the meter you can do that uh, quickly, easily, and inexpensively. And the F4 key is to advance the meter through the available screens. So pressing it moves to the uh, two channel screen. The next one is two channel versus 5.1. The next one is an oscilloscope and there's an oscilloscope for both the 5.1 channel input, so the main meter, and the secondary meter, and there's a utility spectrum analyzer as well, which is useful for checking lineup tones, uh, if pink noise exists on incoming content, you can just make sure that everything is there. It's surprising how many times on a backhaul, for example, there might be accidentally restricted bandwidth. So things might sound okay, but you might have audio only up to seven and a half kilohertz. This is a very quick way to ensure that you've got a, a full bandwidth transmission. Again, it's utility, it's helpful to have, uh, uh, so we've included it.